Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Hallelujah, huh? Hey, tonight we are going to have ham. A honey ham tonight with scalped potatoes and sauce of the apple and all kinds of good stuff. We got some ice cream and squirt stuff and cookies and, and it's just really going to be neat. We have a wonderful fellowship on Wednesday evenings and we have it right here at the house in our big, beautiful new house. So everybody is welcome this, tonight. At 6 o'clock we eat, and at 7 o'clock we have our interactive Bible study. So come out and see us tonight, if you're in the Melbourne, Florida area. Amen. Glory to God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. If you need prayer today, call me. I am always ready to pray with our partners. Amen. And when you do your offerings and donations today, call, because I want to speak the blessing over you today. The word for word blessing. Now, maybe more than any other time that I can remember, we need that blessing spoken over us. Amen. We need that right now. I want to talk to you today about also, when you go to our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have got twelve over 1,200 videos in there. Amen. So subscribe to that. Write good reviews. Write good comments on those. Amen. So uh, we want to hear from you. Praise God. Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to hear God's voice. This is so important right now with everything that's going on because there's, there's people are coming out with all kinds of stuff and saying, well, God said this and God said that and God's telling them this and God's telling them that. And there's some of them I believe and some of them I wonder about. Amen. There's a way to hear God's voice. Now, keep in mind that God, it used to be in the Old Testament, God only spoke to the prophets. He would speak to the prophets or the priests. People like Eli and people like Samuel. And uh, he, spoke to, he spoke to Abraham. He would speak to the leaders in those days. Because number one, people in those days did not, were not born again. They were not born again because Jesus hadn't come. And number two, they did not have the Holy Spirit. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. Only the priests and the kings and uh, the prophets generally would have the Holy Spirit unless there was something special going on. Daniel definitely had the Holy Spirit, but everybody didn't have the Holy Spirit. But today, the Holy Spirit is available to everybody. Everybody who is born again is eligible to receive the Holy Spirit, the infilling of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And that, it seems like that opens things up to you to hear from God. Now, there was a guy in Wisconsin years ago, and I still remember him. I'm sure he's probably still there. I haven't heard anything different. But he, you couldn't talk to this guy for two minutes. But he said, well, God told me this, and God told me that, and God told me this. It's like, you know, you talk to him for 10 minutes, and he would tell you 20 times that God said this or God said that. And so one day I said to him, I said, if God is talking to you so much, why doesn't he tell you how to make enough money to support your family? I didn't see him for a while. He didn't come back for a while. That's not what he wanted to hear. People used to say, uh, I, I need to hear a word from the Lord. I need a word from the Lord. People used to, I, there was a church up there where the pastor specialized in personal prophecy. Everything in that church was personal prophecy. And people would come to church to get a word from the Lord. And I have seen, then he would call some people up and give them, usually 
any given Sunday, maybe a third to a half of the people would get a word from the Lord. He'd call them up, line them up. And then he'd go down the line and he would speak prophecy over them. And people would just, ah, just go crazy over a word from the Lord. And somebody said one time, boy, that was a mighty move of God. And I'm thinking to myself, I didn't see anybody get healed. I didn't see anybody get delivered. I just heard somebody talking and saying, thus saith the Lord. Let me tell you something, folks. I never say, thus saith the Lord, unless I hear God's voice. Unless God speaks to me. Now, there's been a few times when I said, God just told me. And every time I have ever done that, what I said happened. What I said came true. Every single time. I have never missed. And the reason I've never missed is because I know the voice of the Lord. And sometimes things come to me. I go, oh. Now, you can declare something. Say, God's going to give you this, or God's going to give you that, or, or God's going to pay my rent, or, or God's going to get me a car, or God's going to get me a new job. You can declare things. You can declare things and it will be established unto you according to Job 22, 28. You, but that is not saying, thus saith the Lord. Now, one time in church, this was probably, uh, I know it was at least, it's probably 16, 17 years ago. But I was standing up in front of the whole church, a lot of people, and the Lord spoke to me. And I stopped. I stopped the sermon. And I listened to the Lord. And then I said, God just spoke to me and told me, somebody in this place is going to get a million dollars to build a new church or buy a church. Whoa. Everybody clapped. Well, I went on with my, because that's all God said. He didn't tell me who it was. So a guy came up to me after church and he said, that was for me. I said, I think too it was, but I'm not sure. I never speak for God, folks. Never. I don't speak for God. The only time I speak for God is when I'm quoting his word out of the Bible. Or if he says that speaks to me, but... I didn't say it tell that guy it was for him because I didn't know it was for him. I thought it was. I wasn't sure. So I said, I think too it is, but I'm not sure. Well, a year later, he walks into a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am deal and puts a million dollars in his pocket. It was for him. And he got the million dollars just like God spoke to me. Only he didn't buy a church or build a church. He didn't even tithe on that money. He left the church because he couldn't bring himself to write a tithe check. Went to South America and invested the money and lost everything he had. Had he bought a church for us or built a church with that money. He was a builder. He was a commercial builder. Had he done that, he would be worth tens of millions of dollars right now. He had a purpose. There was a purpose for that money. And he didn't do it. And he lost it. Didn't even tithe on it. But I was hearing from God. I was hearing from God. Another time, God spoke to me and said, turn around and go home. When I was heading to a, an insurance appointment, I turned around, went home, I got home. Mary says, what are you doing here? I said, God told me to turn around and come home. I heard his voice. I heard his voice. I said, she said, well, you need to go make that sale. We need the money. I said, I'm not going nowhere. God said, turn around and go home. Well, half an hour later, we turned on the TV. 
downtown Tulsa, where I was supposed to be for that appointment, was under five feet of water. The sewer system and drainage system had backed up and there was a flash flood rainstorm down there. We would lost our car. We didn't have money to replace it. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 20, verse 27 says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. God speaks to you through your spirit, in your belly, and when he talks to you, it's in an audible voice. It's not something you feel. It's not something in your head. It's That's the only way God talks to you. If somebody says to me, Pastor Jim, God told me, I want to know how he told you. How did you hear God's voice? Well, Pastor Jim, I just know it's God. No, you don't. I have thought it was God several times and lost the farm over it. I've made horrendous mistakes because I thought God wanted me to do something and he hadn't spoken to me. I don't do that no more. Never. Somebody said to me, God sent me here to be your partner. I said, well, when God tells me, they were trying to destroy my church. I don't go by what God says to somebody else. I don't know how God is talking to her. God sent me here to help you. God sent me here to be your partner. Oh, yeah? Well, when he tells me, we'll be in business. God speaks to me in an audible voice inside my belly. And when he talks to me, I'm telling you what, I can hear his voice just like I can hear somebody standing in this room talking to me. It's audible. It's clear. It's loud. It's a deep voice. God has a deep voice, but he talks to me inside my belly. I haven't heard his voice in five years. I'm okay with that. He knows where I'm at. He wants, he wants to tell me something. He knows how to find me. Otherwise, all I go by is this. This is God's voice. And when I speak it out loud, it's God's voice. And I go by it. But I'll tell you what, I don't go by anything anybody tells me. So, well, Pastor Jim, God told me to tell you, oh yeah, how did you hear God's voice? I don't change my life based on anything anybody tells me. Because I hear God's voice for myself. When he wants me to know something, he will tell me. And there's a lot of people now saying a lot of things about this virus and everything that's going around and our economic condition and all that. And let me tell you something, folks. I don't, I, I'm, all I know is I'm blessed and that's it. And the people in my church are blessed and my partners are blessed. That I know and that's all I know. And I go by nothing else unless God speaks to me. Somebody uh, got a hold of me uh, a couple years ago and said, Pastor Jim, take everybody in your church and flee to the mountains. There's going to be a catastrophe in such and such a date. I said, well, if there is, God will tell me. She fled to the mountains. Nothing happened. Glory to God. Hey, I am out of time. God speaks to you. If you don't hear that voice in his belly, in your belly, inside you, an audible voice, it very well may not be God. Be careful, please, when you're hearing God's voice. Amen. Hey, go to my website, increasenow.com. When you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you in faith. Glory to God. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can hear God's voice, but please be careful.